the Son, and the Holy Spirit. Amen. May all of you, dearly beloved, listening to the sound of my voice on Prophet Colonel TV, be blessed. Amen. Pillar of Christ Jesus International is the platform and is headed by Prophet Carnel in Paris, France. You can reach Prophet Carnel on Zoom on Sundays, Thursdays, and Fridays at 18.30 hours Greenwich Mean Time. 18.30 hours Greenwich Mean Time. Thank you. Today's message, there shall be a performance, is taken from Luke 1, verses 39 to 45. Luke 1, verses 39 to 45. We are all born with a purpose to fulfill. And that purpose is living and growing inside of us, waiting to be best. Shall we bow our heads in prayer? Father God, we thank you for your word that does not come to you void, but accomplishes its purpose. And dear Lord, as we delve into your word, let your Holy Spirit continue to guide and guide us. And Lord, give us the courage to be able to preach your word to all the four corners of the earth so that souls may be one into your kingdom. Father, we thank you. We glorify your holy name. In Jesus' name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen. One thing I have learned in my Christian work with the Lord is that the enemy's job is to stop us from reaching our goals by confusing us on what our purpose is. And what is our purpose? What is your reason for existence? What is your goal or your intended outcome? Purpose is the reason for existence. The reason for which it has been done or made. A goal or intended outcome of something. In every ministry or organization, there is always a mission statement that states the purpose of that ministry or organization. If I give you one minute, could you write down a mission statement for yourself? We were all put on planet Earth for a reason, but you have to know your purpose and know where you're going. In order to understand your purpose, you have to first know who you are. So many of us are walking in the wrong position because we don't know who we are. And there are some of us who are in the right position but cannot be effective in it because they don't know who they are. What you don't know, when you don't know who, who you are, it's easy to be led in the wrong direction and follow the crowd or be part of a clique. You begin to act like the people you are associated with. For example, when you hang around another woman for a long period of time, it is known that both women, both women's cycle can sometimes become in sync with one another. 
So it is that if you watch pornography, all kinds of things on TV, such as downloads of gossiping, backbiting, she said, he said, fornication, unclean thoughts, lying, jealousy, envy, strife, you have become in sync with the wrong thing or person. And thus, download of mess. In so doing, you have lost sight of your purpose because you are in sync with the wrong thing. And now your purpose has become contaminated. Contaminated can be something impure, unclean, or polluted. That makes a place or a substance no longer suitable for use. Beloved, it's time to let some things and people go. Move forward. You got to do whatever it takes to birth this baby. Meaning you got to do whatever it takes to take your destiny back. You wonder why you can't hang out with certain people. It's because they don't understand what you are pregnant with. They can't comprehend what God is doing in your life. The only thing they can identify with is your past, who you were, and it's not what you were, you, you, you are uh, used to be. I used to be a crackhead, a prostitute, a liar, a fornicator, a homosexual. Who you are and where you are now, they can't identify with what you are carrying and they can identify with what you are about to birth. Close the doors to those who are killing your baby and killing your dream. Those who are not beneficial or contribute to the call of God on your life. Open the door to the one that, are, that can identify to what God has put inside of you. How do you know who they are? Luke 1 verse 41 is an example of one that can identify with, with what God has put inside of someone. It tells us that when Elizabeth heard the salutation of her cousin Mary, the baby leapt in her womb and Elizabeth was filled with the Holy Spirit. Thus the presence of the Lord activated the purpose on the inside of Elizabeth. She felt the presence of God. The Bible tells us that Mary stayed with Elizabeth until her time had come. The presence of God stayed with her until the purpose and the promise was fulfilled. When a woman began to have contraction, that's a sign that labor has started and it's time for the baby to be born. Contraction is painful and uncomfortable. At this time, the body is preparing itself to release its purpose. It begins to stretch in order for the purpose to fit, to fit through. One thing about labor, it's no telling how long it may last. It could be 24 36 or even 48 hours. The contractions begins to stretch the body. Now it's time to give birth to this baby. Get in the birthing position. 
this position is uncomfortable and rather embarrassing. There is a reason why you must be open for all to see. The reason is there shall be a performance. There is going to be a public presentation of what God spoke in my life and in your life so that he may get all the glory out of it. It doesn't matter how long ago he spoke. The bottom line is he spoke it. And the Bible says in Numbers 23, verse 19, that God is not a man that he should lie, neither the son of man that he should repent. But he said, and sh shall he not do it? Or has he spoken, and shall he not make it good? A promise is a promise. Your purpose shall come forth. Beloved God has activated that seed that is in you. Stay that thing back up and be blessed as you do so. Amen. Let us pray. Father God, we thank you for your word. That is like a two-edged sword. And Father, we thank you that you have brought it home to us where we stand with you. Father God, give us the courage by your grace and mercy to preach this word to others who have not heard of you so that they would also run to save their souls from damnation. Father, we thank you. We glorify your holy name. In Jesus' name, we pray with thanksgiving. Amen.